Hi, it's Darnell with Wave Learner Recipes, and Happy New Year! For the new year, I'm going to try something new. I've got some Pillsbury French bread. I'm going to give this a shot in a new Wave oven and see how it bakes up. So, let's get started. Alright, so I've got my French bread and I've got my new Wave oven, the one inch rack there. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray that one inch rack with uh, a little pan bacon spray just to keep that foil that I've got down non-stick. <clears throat> and usually the rule of thumb for baking in the new wave oven with uh, things you're uncertain about or new to you is to use the lower rack and bake it for usually the lowest time setting. This one, this uh, French bread, it says to bake it for 26 to 30 minutes which is a pretty long time I'm gonna just try 25 minutes to see if I can get away with it and if it looks a deep golden brown even before 25 then all the better but we'll see what we get as it cooks and see where it gets to that deep golden brown the new way if it takes as long as the minimum in the conventional or if it can be done even faster but with the new wave remember the advantage is always that there's no preheating also the new wave oven is just so much more energy efficient than a conventional oven so the new wave oven always wins the new wave oven will pay you back in energy savings and save you money over time so the new wave oven is always better than conventional if you can use it Right, this is kind of sloppy getting this roll of dough out of the container. A little sticky there on that end. Alright, so I'm going to just uh, slide it in like that. It just barely fits. And you're supposed to slice the tops with four inch deep with a sharp knife. I've got a sharp knife here and I'm just slicing in there. Just trying to get some deep deep slices in. I set 25. If it gets deep golden brown before, all the better. But I'm gonna hit start and I'll bring you back in 25 minutes or less. So we'll see how it goes. Alright, so there's seven minutes left in that 25 minute run. The things as you can see are getting a real deep dark golden brown in there. So I'm gonna hit the pause and take the lid off. As you can see also it's grown pretty big. It's like grown to the edges of the uh, dome. So I'm uh, you know got the lid off. Now it says to wait 25 minutes, not 25, wait five minutes for it to cool. And you can see it's a nice brown top. It looks pretty good. The sides reach the edge. Maybe if I cut it in half I could have put two halves down but you know just keeping it whole. It looks good. So, gonna wait five minutes, let this cool, and it didn't bring you back. Okay, so I um, waited up five minutes. I'm gonna cut into it here. see it is done basically 18 minutes that's 18 minutes um, maybe if I used a better cutting knife I could have cut right into it a little better but uh, 18 minutes and it's done so I'm gonna adjust the camera and do taste test all 
All right, so taste testing time. Here you can see my bread that I sliced off. So this is one of those cases where you can cook something way faster in a new wave than conventional. Sometimes some things cook faster. Sometimes things cook about the same time as a conventional oven. But in this case, this Pillsbury French bread, much faster than a conventional oven. 18 minutes versus 26 to 30 minutes. You got the energy savings. You got no preheating. So it's all savings all the way. It tastes great. And so for you who notice my shirt here, Yes, I am a big fan of MKBHD, <laughs> but uh, again, Happy New Year, and if you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and good eating.